Let's see what happens in Donnie's mock Drew draft 2.0. It's pricey. I got the sauce. <laughs> Number one, deep dish pizza, Super Bowls on the way. Good stuff. Caleb Williams, generational talent, the chosen one. Oh, my. Hey, congratulations Him. on Super Bowl. Generational. Yeah. Best Bears quarterback say, of all time before taking that, a single after snap. That interview uh, with Ryan Clark, that. I'm on board, bro. Yeah. He's a fucking dog. I saw that. I was like, yeah. He's pretty one much, of my guys now. Pretty much, yeah, I knew I was fucking. He's on the cool list. That's all it takes. Just be on the cool swag list and you're with me. Number two. 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 So I kind of thought Washington would take Drake May. Oh, you were talking about it too? I saw the stuff about Jaden Daniels being mad. I was like, yeah, that just means they're going to take him for sure. <clears throat> yeah. So I got Jaden Daniels going there. Sorry about it because you're going to the poop stadium and poop scenario, poop franchise. And yeah, they're getting a new one. They they're trying it. to. Get a new one of those. Get a new coach. And we'll be working. They just, they just got one, man. No one wants it. They don't make any good choices over there. So sorry about it, Jaden Daniels. Best of luck to you. Pick number three. Big moving clock. Okay, here we go. We got Minnesota jumping all the way up to number three. Splash. It's that. Uh, That's what they do in Minnesota. Splish splash. Oh, the lakes? It'd be cold in Minnesota. Right. It's just splash trade. That's what I Big move oh. clock. They said uh, this would have to be like a huge trade to move up to three, like bigger than Trey Lance. Are we talking like Billy Fuscello? Yes. Huge. 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 Buffalo is huge. So, so, yeah, I got them trading uh, both picks this year, first round pick next year, maybe even more on top of that. Sheesh. Yeah. They to go, go up and get Drake May. He worked with uh, McCown that you were talking about earlier in high school. Yeah. So there's that oh, connection. Yeah, it's kind of crazy because a lot of these top quarterbacks got connections with a lot of these coaches. Yeah, if you're just mad nice, you probably are like, yeah, I went to this camp, I saw this quarterback, this quarterback there, this coach, this guy. Yeah, but what they say is, um, if the quarterback ends up working out, doesn't matter what the fuck compensation you gave up, it worked out. Yeah, if you give up, if the uh, the Bills back in the day had to give up three first round picks to get Josh Allen, uh, that would be a good trade. Yeah, I would say. And I, I, I would say so. You would agree. What about Anthony Richardson? They didn't have to trade up. They Even just better. They... <laughs> Even better. <laughs> they just they earned, easier. They earned that fourth overall pick. <laughs> so uh, speaking of fourth, shout overall, out Jeff Saturday. Shout out Jeff Saturday. Stepping stone. Corner. Yeah. Did it for the people. Yeah, he sure did. He knew what they needed. So yeah, I think Drake May has a, a ceiling that the Minnesota Vikings could actually trade up for. I don't think they would do it for like McCarthy or anything like that because it's like I don't, eh, so. I don't think he's got as much juice as Drake May does, and you want to squeeze out all the juice, yep. uh, like a lemonade. Yep. Number four, Marvin Harrison Jr. If Arizona trades out of this pick, their fan base should all hate the GM, hate the owner, hate the coach. Dummies, uh, yeah. Be mad. Kyler Murray should be mad. He's one of them. Marvin Harrison Jr. deserves to be picked fourth. He's worth it. Pick number five. So I was gonna, I was leaning towards Joe Alt. I was. Ooh. But Malik neighbors are going to be nice. And they don't have literally anyone to throw to. <laughs> Nobody. QJ. Yeah, unless he like steps up from last year, but I don't know about that. I would like to see it. I would like to see it. Oh, me too. I got him on a couple dynasties. Yeah, he was a high draft picking <laughs> dynasty to be. He was on the top five list going into the offseason. Yeah, he was like a, a guy not going to buy into, into and all that. Season, yeah, yeah. A, a dynasty, or not a dynasty, but just a fantasy, a bargain. It top was five. not. It wasn't. Yeah. No. Top so I got him taking neighbors. He's uh, arguably could be the best wide receiver in the draft. I don't think so, but people are saying it. And uh, super explosive. Pair him up with That's it. Herbert over there. Get the job done. Number six. Now we got the Giants. I don't know what they're going to do. They could take a Joe Alt as well. They and could. That's what I kind of feel like they should. But the vibes over there is they're saying they're going to take a wide receiver. I don't know for what. They ain't got no one to throw it to. Or you mean they got no one... No one throwing to throw the ball. They have no one to throw it or throw it to. Not even your guy, Wanda Robinson. Nope. Who's my guy? Quarterback. quarterback. Danny DeVito. Yeah, he's still there. Tommy. Dude. Yeah, he sucks. Drew okay. Locke, Daniel. Drew. You say that again. Say it again, please. <laughs> <laughs> say it again. He sucks. Yeah, Danny DeVito sucks. I'm sorry about it. He uh. He came around to one. We'll see if. You know, maybe Danny Dimes goes down and I'll be back on the hype train. But Danny Dimes is in there, too. He sucks, too. No, they got Drew Locke. You got Romo Dunze is going to be – He's going to be running uh, – uh, what's it called? He's going to be running cardio out there for the Giants, but good for him, I guess. I don't know. Just sorry, Romo Dunze. You're getting picked by the Giants. 
I feel sorry for him. Number seven, Tennessee. We take a Joe Alt. That's pretty sweet how you said that. Tennessee. Yeah. I just feel like only uh, ten I see. Yeah, yeah. Only ten I see. <laughs> <clears throat> I feel like Tennessee Joe Alt could have went five. So this is like a nice little bargain. Hey, like oh look, we got Joe Alt. Yeah. So Top offensive tackle. Not that I'm yeah. doing that. He's an offensive tackle. That's boring. So we'll just keep it pushing. Uh, number eight, Dallas Turner, offensive linebacker. All three of us. Yep. We'll see if Atlanta actually does it, and they don't pick like Brock Bowers or something ridiculous. Uh, Probably not. I don't know who would do that. <laughs> yeah, especially in the mock draft one and a half. Who would do that? Brock no Bowers. one probably ever. Next up at number nine, the Bears. <laughs> I can see them trading back. I like what y'all did with that. Thank you. But I think Leatu Latu could be a guy. Go. Number 10, Jets. I was going with Lineman, but then they signed... The guy from Dallas. The New York Ifs? New York Ifs, yeah. The Hopefully this lineman survives six games. Yeah, they, they didn't just sign one. They got two. Oh, they got another one? Yeah. They, I forget who. But they didn't uh, Morgan Moses from Baltimore. Well, just hit up Bakhtiari if anything goes wrong. <laughs> Simple as that. Yeah, I guess that's true if they got the money for it. Yeah. So, they're taking Brock Bowers. I don't know if he can step in and make a difference that fast over there, which is what you need to do with Aaron Rodgers. So, that's like an iffy point. But eh. It'll certainly help him, though. Just take Brock Bowers at the Jets at number 10. Number 11. This is where the Patriots traded back to. And they took a, a Michigan quarterback once upon a time, and it went pretty good for him. So why not run it back? Michigan quarterback again. J.J. McCarthy. Good guy to keep you at the bottom yeah. of the division. Uh, <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> no. They got a bunch of draft picks, so why not take a shot at a quarterback? or Whatever. You know what I'm saying? Next up. Number 12, Denver. They need help literally everywhere. Jared Verse seems like a good bargain here on the edge. Edge is one of the most important positions of football. If you yeah. ask me, take Jared Verse. 13, like uh, the Raiders. Raiders. Take a long mountain. <laughs> Aluma Waya, the Shanu. Yeah. Office of tackle. I think the Raiders, you know, with Pierce over there, they might just be like a, a beat em up bruiser team. So just build a lineup. Try to run the ball. Maybe Zamir White's looking jacked. Maybe they'll take a running back later in the draft, too. Who knows? Whoa. You can't really rely on Minshew. Especially, you can't rely on him to throw some passes into the game in the season on the line. He'll be good. He got, <laughs> a, he got one of the best receivers. What are we talking about? Middle of the season, he'll do you good. 14. Saints. Talisi Fawaga. I don't know. There's another team where they just need help everywhere except for like wide receiver. That's a good point. Just take literally anything and line's a good building block spot. 15. The Colts. Yeah. I got him trading back to the third round. Nah. <laughs> Hey, what kind of mock did you show? What kind of graphic is this? You bullshitting the, yeah, the no, people? Yeah, we, we, the we people. lying. We got him taking Terry on Arnold. Uh, we don't give Pitt my number of time. Nothing but the time. You be, you've been over here begging for Sneed all season, so we'll give you a corner. How about that? Thank you. Appreciate it, man. <laughs> We're listening. Thanks for looking up. Number 16, Seattle. Seattle last year proved that no matter what they got going on, we're drafting what we think is the best pick. We're not, we don't care about drafting for need. Oh, we got Tyler Lockett and DK Metcalf. Yeah, we're going to take in Jigba anyways. They got two good corners already. Fuck it. Ah, fuck it. <laughs> Lock up everybody on the field. Legion of Boom. Yeah. All right. Come on. It works for three corners. Do it yeah. up. Yeah. God damn. Call up the guy with one hand again. Queen Yon Mitchell. <laughs> He's a linebacker, dude. <laughs> Whatever. His brother was born. His corner. brother has the <laughs> Yes, both. He's nice. 16, <laughs> Quinion Mitchell, <laughs> Toledo, <laughs> Beattle. 17, they got Trevor Lawrence over there, the golden child. He's a bum. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Go play in London all season, okay? Just go join the CFL or something if you want to play in a different country all the time. It's not his decision. I don't care. The Jags are on my don't, hate list. Okay. There, it's been two weeks. I haven't been able to say nothing about the Jags. Go jag off in London. Go eat some tea and crumpets. Go play soccer over there. Be, you know, no go do some other thing. No offense. Respectfully. <laughs> there you go. He's a perfect example. <laughs> Respectfully. <laughs> they don't even let you play on the no, grass. He's got there. no words. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. Jeez. He said respectfully. I heard respectfully. him. Respectfully. So, both of them. Yeah, he meant it. He said, "Say it with your chest." <laughs> Aquarius, um, oh no, Amarius Mims, whatever. I ain't gonna lie, I almost said the same thing when he was up for me. Aquarius would be a cool name, gun. I'd switch it. Jagging off. Protect Trevor Lawrence because if he goes Marius. out, Demarius, Amarius, it's Amarius. I'm disrespecting anybody on the Jags. He's saying, he's saying Aquarius because they're over. Oh, oh my God! Yep. Go ahead. You, you had it on the other side of the pond. That's right. We got to. Because they don't know how to play oh my real God, games. I couldn't say that. that. Isn't that a um, 
Say, come play Aquarius at 9 a.m. Aquarius isn't that uh, a sign. Yeah, it's a sign. That's me. You're an Aquarius? That's right. It all comes full circle. Come on. Number 18, <laughs> Bengals. They're taking Brian Thomas. Uh, I mean. That's dangerous. They should actually trade T. Higgins like he asked for. That was what I would do. But Well, why not keep him? Just for the season, at least. Yeah, because you can get something back for him. Or you can get nothing back for him. Yeah, but you know what? Go ahead. True. Be cheap and be the same cheap old Bengals. They ain't never win a Super Bowl. They ain't never going to win a Super Bowl. Yeah, that's them. Here we go. Take uh, Brian Thomas. Good pick. It's a nice fall because I almost took him on the Jags. He's a, he's eh, I almost man. took him on the Saints. Yeah. Almost took him on the Raiders, but I didn't do it. I said, yeah, let him fall. I could even see him going to the Broncos. 19. They lost the GOAT. Aww. So they got to take a new D tackle. Aww. Byron Murphy the second. Yeah. Oh, that's a good pick. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if you could ever in those shoes. I got yeah, big say. shoes to fill. Yeah. I don't know if you could ever replace fucking like, Aaron Donald, but hey, Brian Murphy's close. We'll try with our first first round pick in the last seven years. Twenty. We're going Troy Fontenot because this is your grandpa Steelers. We're trying to get back to the good old days. <laughs> Winning. Somebody got to protect uh, Russell Wilson. You probably got to protect him for like nine seconds for him to do anything. So they're gonna take a lineman. Twenty one. This I thought was funny because I was re- listening to both y'all's and I got the Dolphins <laughs> taking. J.C. Latham, Blitz, Blam, a Blitz. Everybody got him going to the Dolphins, which is kind of wild because he's just yeah. a random tackle. How do we agree on that? That's weird. Because we don't give a piss, piss about, about nothing no but the Dolphins. Piss. Ooh. Blitz, Dolphins, Blitz. Swim, fam, swim. Yeah. Here we go. 22. Eagles need quarterback help real, 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 real bad. Add an extra reel as many times as you want in there. So they take a Nate Wiggins. Real, 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 real. How do you know what saying? Real. He was. Think about it. Twenty-three. Patriots got this from the Vikings as long as as well as stuff next year. They got the quarterback from Michigan to repeat history. The Robert Kraft in his last amount of time. If this happens, I'd cry. Chop Robinson to the Patriots, bro. Why are you going to cry about that? He'd be a I'm fucking, a fan. He'd be a menace. <laughs> I have to hate him. <laughs> he'd You'll be a menace. A, it's just the Patriots. They're going to win like six games. It's fine. You could just still root for them. I think they're going to be nice in like two years. Especially if you give them Chop Robinson. Dude. Not if they what take are you thinking? McCarthy at 11. They won't be nice in two years. They'll still stink. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Chop Robinson. Yeah. New England. They know what they're doing over there. Kind of. 24. Cowboys. Cowboys are a wild card. You never know what they're going to do all the time. Mix it up. Yeah, you seen Jerry's notes? Yeah, Jerry said, watch how fast I can write this down. Oh, shit. Took Xavier Worthy. So he's fast. fast. I like he that. Was. 25, Packers, they wanted a corner uh, in free agency. Uh, so they're going to get Cooper DeJean. Oh, he, he, he do a lot of other things in the defensive backfield, too. Yeah, so just plug him yeah. in back there. Do whatever. Help out the Packers. You need a safety, boom. You need a corner, boom. Nickel, boom. Bing, bang. Bonk. 26. Kool Aid McKinstry. The Bucks kind of wild card. They don't have like any super pressing needs that I'm knowing about. They're like just a solid built team. And I, like corners I, is just an important position. I feel like, like I feel like they need everything and nothing at the same time. Yeah, like we're kind of good at everything. Yeah, kind of not that. But good like at not too. Yeah, yeah. You get it. That's exactly where it's like. Eh, we can take whatever. So we they'll want. take anything. Yeah, which is like kind of cool, I guess, but like kind of not cool. Yeah. Twenty seven. Johnny Newton. Arizona. That boy Johnny. Just felt like a good pickup for them. Good value. 28. We got Lad McConkey. Oh, you're on the side, dude? I'm on the lad side. I just think you can step in, hop in the slot. So you saw some tape? Yes. Okay. <laughs> you, you liked what you saw. Speed and length. Here we go. I don't have a lot, I don't have a lot of confidence in that statement. <laughs> no, no. I, I believe him. <laughs> hey, take welcome back. We're talking uh, about uh tape. We're on, we're on the 28th pick, and uh, the Bills selected Lad McConkey. Yeah, we're talking about video? Or? Cool. Sounds like you guys are talking about something else. Like a VHS tape? Or yeah, like plug it in. What are you talking about? Watch what did I see. miss? <laughs> yes, if I saw a lot of tape on him. On Lad McConkey, because he, he, he was picking up what you were putting down, so I asked him if he was watching tape and saw what he, like what he saw. And, uh, what did you say? He said, uh, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so, so uh, <laughs> yeah. Sounds like you love the tape you've seen. Yeah. Hey. He loves it. I don't I think he spent a lot of time in the lab. I haven't seen. Oh, <laughs> he's coming at wow. the expertise. <laughs> Can't compare the tapes. <laughs> he took that soccer <laughs> shit. To... Oh, my God. Jeez. He's a jack. Like, yeah, 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 I, I, I tape. Yeah, sure. you look good. Uh, you know, yeah. 
He said yeah, Georgia you boy. 20, 28th pick. Who gives a shit, right? Yeah, we can't really compare yeah. the tape to anything. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we all, we all lose him. You said he's the perfect lad. Good lad. He's a good lad. Yeah. Oh, uh, you know the good guy. Good Irish boy, right? He's, he's a sweet boy. He, I, I would probably oh, bet he's Irish. A good lad. I'd probably hey, bet Irish. Ball, for nice God's lad. sake. Especially with the Mick in there. Yeah, I, I would. Mick I would take Irish. Yeah, McCoy, McConkey. Let's get it. I think it's a good pick. 30. 30. Tyler got in Baltimore. Ooh. Just build up the line. Yeah. Baltimore don't need nothing. Their team's just nasty. Yeah, same thing. Build up the line for the run game. Protect Our ball thing to do. The most important thing is protecting Lamar. If you do that, you can win a Super Bowl any year unless you ask Dylan. 31. <laughs> Not the scum, bro. 31. Not I got man. San Fran taking Adonai Mitchell. This is because somewhere on this list, someone's going to trade a first-round pick for Brandon Ayuk. Don't know who it is, but it's going to happen. And San oh. Fran's going to need a new wide receiver, too, and it's going to be Adonai Mitchell. Okay. And I think uh, Shanahan can get a lot out of him. Oh, Shanahan, okay. 32, Kansas City. They lost Sneed, so they're taking a new corner, and it's going to be TJ Tampa out of oh. Iowa State. Sneaky pick. Yep. Almost the same as what they did with uh, McDuffie, right? The same thing they did last year, yeah. Take a corner at the end. Ooh. Works out good. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Legarius Sneeze on the Titans to the lose his career. Co- copy and paste the system from last year. Okay. If I ain't broke, don't fix it. That's right. Corner's important. I don't Covering mind. people is important in the NFL. Super. All right, Donnie. Well done, man. Yay. Very interesting drafts. All three of them. 33 is going to be The draft is such a fucking crap shoot, bro. Did we make your team better? Did we make your team worse? You tell us in the comment section here. If you want to make your own mock draft, forget that other mock draft simulator. They make you pay to trade. What kind of ridiculousness is that? That's a BS. You know what? You have to pay to mock draft. Yeah. Who wants to do that? It's fucked up, isn't it? So that's why I'm going to go Pro Football Network with their free trades free? on their mock draft simulator. I would go nowhere else but PFN. So with that being said, scan the QR code. Go create your own mock draft for free trades. And once you're done with that mock, share it with us on all of our social platforms. Head over to Twitter. Tag us at TankTalk underscore pod. Also tag PFN365 with hashtag PFNMDS.